find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is just a book, says Dr. Seuss, the famous American children author and uh, author of all the famous Dr. Seuss's book series. True, isn't it? A book opens a world of imagination and creativity for the children and uh, opens up a magical world all by itself. Hi guys, this is Gomati and welcome to the Little Story Station. I hope you guys are finding my uh, parenting uh, tips interesting and useful. Well, do you find that it is difficult for you guys to uh, make reading fun for your children? And do you think uh, whatever you do, whatever, however you try, uh, your child is not interested in uh, reading? If so, uh, hang on because today's episode I am going to talk about ways to make reading fun and interesting for your children. But before diving in, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please like, share and subscribe and hit on the bell icon down below. So you get the notification every time I upload a new video. And every week I plan to upload one parenting episode. So, uh, you know, we could exchange uh, ideas of how to improve, uh, you know, reading in your child. Well, without further ado, let's dive deep in. Alright, in today's episode, we are going to talk about three ways to make reading fun for your children. Number one, for this method, all you need is just you. That's right. Your voice and your presence is all is required. Yes, by that what I mean is, um, you know, when you read books, use voice modulations, use funny noises and sounds and, um, you know, you know, live the character that is in the book for your child. This will crack up your child and make it fun uh, for your child to read any book. For example, um, you know, if you have a silly, um, you know, silly uh, character in the book, use a nasal sound, something like, hey, what are you doing? How are you? Or if you have a, a terror character or a, uh, you know, evil character in the book, um, you know, use your bass voice and say, hey, what are you doing there? And, uh, you know, if there are, um, you know, animal characters in the uh, book, use, uh, you know, the actual sounds like meow or a kukukuku. And all this will um, entice your child because um, children learn through colors and sound. So, um, I'm sure your child will crack up to all these different, uh, you know, uh, tones and uh, sounds that you're making. And they would want to come back and listen to you more and more because they um, are always looking forward to what is in store and what new you are bringing in every book. I hope you like that tip. Tip number two, read with help of props. Um, so use, um, you know, um, a simple uh, sari or a piece of cloth or, um, you know, a towel and tie around your uh, neck as a cape or um, you know pick up uh, an, a crown from your uh, child's uh, um, you know uh, toy set or use a magical wand like this that your child will have in uh, his or her, her uh, you know toy box so all you need is to uh, you know play a role role play and say that you know you are the princess today or you are the um, you know dog today or you know pick up a character and uh, you know just uh, do role play and invite your child also to um, you know play another role in the book and this will make it very very interesting for the child. Um, also it is important for you to stick around what your child is interested in. For, for example my child is all about um, you know dinosaurs so um, you know most of the time I am the T-Rex trying to eat him and he is uh, you know playing the victim uh, of uh, you know the T-Rex's uh, atrocities. So uh, that's a fun way of uh, engaging the child. Tip number three. This is a very uh, proven method of using puppets. So there are plenty of hand puppets and finger puppets available out there. Or you could do your own DIY socks puppets, um, you know, using any of the DIY uh, videos uh, that are available out there. 
and when you read with puppets uh, the children very young children find it very very interesting um, you know you could use all the different characters um, and you could uh, early on when my child was only uh, you know two years or uh, two two and a half years old I used to just cook up stories I used to bring uh, two different characters and I would just uh, you know talk about different things that they see around I would bring a giraffe and a lion and I would say um, you know hey I'm the giraffe I'm looking here and hey I'm the lion and you know it just uh, cracks them up it makes it interesting for them and it is also very funny for them so children always look for the funny element uh, you know and we have to find something that will get them hooked into the story um, so I hope you like all the three tips that I gave you today um, on how to make uh, reading fun for your child um, if you like this content please uh, share it with your, your other uh, fellow uh, mommies and um, daddies out there and um, if you like the content please like share and subscribe come back to the little story station for another uh, parenting tip the next time until next time keep reading to your child and spread the joy of reading take care and bye